Rue, there's a new bacon scented perfume now available called Right, as in W R I G H T, number 100. The fragrance release is time to celebrate Tyson owned Wright brand's 100th anniversary. And the company describes the gender neutral perfume as a mix of enticing scents, including applewood, smoky bacon, and a secret ingredient, which is a nod to Wright brand's founding year. There are also hints of sandalwood and maple syrup mixed in. Wright brand describes the new scent as a way to, quote, expand the sensory experience of its bacon. So we've had crab bourbon this morning and now we have bacon perfume we have just hit all the food groups this morning i might actually wear this i think it'd be very interesting if it had like a lighter smell but if it had a real potent bacon smell like if after you cooked it i don't know if i'd like it then i don't know either but uh, i mean one thing is for certain you might be able to bring home the bacon but don't fry this up in a pan i'll buy i'll be here all morning <laughs> I am a hoot. Well, I'm laughing if nobody else is. The time is in your community now. Do you have a talent you would like to showcase or are you interested in being entertained at the local level? Well, if so, Hannibal's Got Talent is planned this Monday afternoon on July 4th. Whether you're native to the area or joining the 67th annual National Tom Sawyer Days, Hannibal JCs invite everyone to an afternoon of fun. And solo or group performances are welcomed. Registration is set to open at 1 p.m. with performances beginning at 2 that afternoon inside the Tanyard Gardens. Online registration is available. Just head over to HannibalJCs.org. Sounds like a very fun event. I'm sure there's going to be a different collective, a lot of people showing off their talents. Raj, I feel like you might have um, competed in this one time. I know you can sing over there. You know what? This is a new event. I, I would have, but I kind of got my start. I was a Miss Hannibal back in the day and I started singing and uh, I met Carol Sowers, a former anchor here at KHQA. She was my judge, that was years ago and the rest is history, but I've really got my start in so many ways at um, in Hannibal Mo. So uh, yeah, that would be fun. I, I've been there before just in a different way. So thank you so much and that'll be just a blast. I love to sing. Obviously that's a great story there and uh, obviously he made tremendous sacrifices throughout all of his life in terms of his service and everything. I'm happy to see that he did have that um, the Medal of Honor and, and whatnot. So kudos to him. And as we approach the 4th of July holiday, you know, I know that we honor our veterans on Veterans Day and Memorial Day, but as we approach the 4th of July holiday, we'd also give a salute to all of our veterans out there. Thank you so much for giving us our freedom because uh, you are the reason why we are celebrating the 4th of July. So thank you, Kaysen, and thank you, veterans at home. For our community, it is a 4th of July parade. We are talking about the 67th annual National Tom Sawyer Days Parade. It is planned on Monday morning, July 4th. Lineup and registration start at 9 a.m. at Save-A-Lot parking lot in Hannibal. The parade starts at 10 a.m. The parade will travel up Broadway and turn left onto North Main Street. Registration is available online at HannibalJCs.org or the morning of the parade in the Save-A-Lot parking lot. Lots of different events going on this weekend, of course. The KHQA Faithful going to be out at the uh, at this parade. We'll be in it and we're going to have some live coverage of it too, I believe. That's right. I believe that Tegan and I, Tegan Orbet and I, will be hosting it so that you can see it at home via social media on our website and so on. So uh, it is always such a fun time in America's hometown on the morning of July 4th. So uh, we hope to see you out there. If not in person, then uh, through the lines of social media and uh, television and so on. In your morning brew, forget extra leg room. Air New Zealand may soon offer beds to economy class passengers. The carrier has unveiled its Sky Nest idea, which is six full size sleeping pods for travelers on its upcoming Boeing 787 Dreamliners. These planes are expected to make their debut in the year 2024. 
and the pods will be stacked like bunk beds and come with features including a pillow, bedding and a ventilation outlet. This could come in handy as Air New Zealand does have some of the lengthiest flights in the entire world. Later this year, the carrier will start a nonstop flight from Auckland to New York with a flight time of approximately 17 hours. I feel if you are on a plane for 17 hours, you're certainly going to need a sort of sky nest kind of bed thing with a pillow and everything else. I think that's well deserved if you're flying on that. It also looks very futuristic, kind of looks like something out of like Star Trek or more of a uh, outer space type feel. That's right, and that light probably is very soothing. And if my memory serves me correctly, I think in 2020 I saw these created for offices so that, you know, if you got a little too stressed or something or, you know, what, what happens in a work setting, you can just go into your pod, just calm that central nervous system down and just take a like a 20 minute siesta and boom, you're as good as new. So I say we order one of those for our studio, maybe for commercial breaks. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. In your community now, if you have a talent you'd like to showcase or are interested in being entertained by local talent. Hannibal's Got Talent is planned this Monday afternoon on July 4th. Whether you're new or native to the area or joining the 67th annual National Tom Sawyer Days, the Hannibal JCs invite everyone to an afternoon of fun. Solo and group performances are also welcome. That registration opens at 1 p.m. with performances set to begin at 2 p.m. that afternoon inside the Tanyard Gardens. Online registration is also available. You can, head, you can do that by going over to HannibalJCs.org. Lots of talent, of course, across the area there singing. I'm sure a lot of other people have got some really good stuff they're going to be showing off during that event. And I think it's going to be great entertainment as well, even if you're not out there showing off your talent. I think it'll just be fun to go over and watch. I other think people. so too. You know, I love to sing the national anthem at several uh, activities throughout the area. I should just go there. What, what a perfect day to sing the national anthem on July 4th, right? So uh, sign me up. That's right. And I'll sign Kaysen up too. Move over Starbucks. This Seattle based coffee company is offering a coffee alternative made without coffee beans. What? Instead, company uses upcycled date seeds which through a proprietary process are roasted to taste like cold brew coffee. And the end result is a more environmentally friendly beverage that uses 94% less water and is closer to carbon neutral. Now it in a taste test, the company claims their beanless cold brew beat traditional cold brew products by a margin of two to one. You can find a can of this beanless cold brew online starting on July 15th. Uh, I am in the minority. I do not like coffee and I actually do not drink it, but I wonder if this might be something uh, for me if I might like the taste a little bit better. I'm sorry, are you speaking a foreign language? I don't understand what you just said because I'm drinking my coffee right now and I love my coffee beans and I just, uh, I don't even understand or can even interpret what you just said. So I think we're speaking two different languages. <laughs> Not a fan of it. <laughs> Our community, it is a 4th of July parade. We are talking about the 67th annual National Tom Sawyer Days. The parade will take place on July 4th. Lineup and registration start at 9 a.m. at Save a Lot parking lot. The parade starts at 10 a.m. And the parade will travel up Broadway and turn left onto North Main Street. Registration is available online at HannibalJCs.org or the morning of the parade in the Save a Lot parking lot. Lots of people are going to be involved in that parade. Obviously, last year there was plenty of people standing along the side. And I know you, Raja, are going to be a part of the broadcast taking place as we're going to broadcast it live here uh, uh, on KHQA. That's right. Tegan Orpet and I are going to serve as hosts again. We did that last year and had uh, such a great time. We're going to do it again this year. And I know the 4th of July uh, parade in Hannibal is one of the many favorites that we do it throughout the year, in addition to the Dogwood Parade that takes place in May. But uh, such a fun time because it's summer. Everyone is just celebrating uh, the gathering and also the fun floats that uh, go throughout America's hometown on this celebration of our country. 